You cannot think for that long about somebody who might know the Ten Commandments and then only come up with the Pope. <laughs> I see that. I think, you know what? I am wasting my talents trying to win 30 quid in drinks vouchers in a pub quiz, aren't I? You can win big money for knowing stuff these days, and I know some stuff. I, I saw a programme recently, an amazing programme, daytime TV on ITV, Dickinson's Real Deal. Oh, I watched it one Sunday. I was immediately hooked. I ended up watching it for a whole week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. I'll show you why. They have questions like this for big money, £2,600. Which country is particularly associated with bullfighting? Is it A, Spain? Or is it B, Germany? Or is it C, Poland? Yeah. Which one could it be? You can win £2,600 for knowing that. If you've never seen the programme, David Dickinson is there to try and help people to get a good deal for their antiques. But it's the competition that interests me. And this, according to the ITV website, is how the competition works. As you can see, it's the same every day of the week. It says, how much will today's special item make at auction? Answer the question featured in the show correctly, and you could win a cash prize equivalent to the final selling price. This was Sunday's competition item, ladies and gentlemen, that one up there. And they haven't put those like that by accident, have they? Um, <laughs> it's like he's in a weird, fully clothed remake of Calendar Girls. <laughs> now, they were Sunday's competition item, and here goes David with a recap of how the competition feature works. They're about to be sold any moment now under the auctioneer's gavel, and whatever they bring, well, same as always, that's the amount we'll be giving away in cash to today's lucky competition winner. There you go, you all heard him say it, same as always. That's how the competition works, or is it? Well, I suppose the proof of the pudding is in the, in, in the baking. <laughs> That's not right, is it? Stewing. What is it? <laughs> Eating. Sorry, yeah, the, 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 I guess the proof of the pudding is in the eating. That's it. So these were sold at auction. The gavel has eventually gone down at £2,600. And that's the amount that we're going to give away to today's lucky competition winner. There you go, £2,600. That is a good prize for daytime telly, if you ask me. I'll have a go at that. I had a go. I didn't win, but that made me think, right, I am watching tomorrow. There's going to be more money on offer. Now, on the Monday, it was this item, and it went for, ladies and gentlemen... The gavel has just gone down at £65. <laughs> £65? It was £2,600 yesterday. Who gives away £2,600 one day and £65 the next? Not David Dickinson, that's who. He is a renegade. He is a rule-breaker. But that's nowhere near good enough for a competition prize, and so I'm going to place £4,000 in front of that. And today's competition prize will read £4,065. And we all heard him yesterday. We all heard him say it. Same as always, that's the amount we'll be giving away in cash. You little liar! <laughs> I mean, I'm glad he's a liar, cos 4065 is an amount worth winning, but even so... Of course, once you've seen the Sunday and then the Monday, how can you not tune in to see what happens next on this carousel of lunacy? <laughs> oh, I'll tell you this. On Tuesday, the competition item was this sword. It sold for £480, ladies and gentlemen. Watch what he does after that. I'm going to place £4,000 in front of that. The prize now reads £4,480. It sold for 480 and he just added another £4,000, and yet... Same as always, that's the amount we'll be giving away in cash. No, that's not true, is it? There are two rules. If it's a decent amount at auction, you give that away, and if it isn't, you add four grand. How could you not want to know what's going to happen on the Wednesday? Oh, when the competition item was a diamond ring, 18 karat gold. It sold, ladies and gentlemen, for £400. I think the pattern has been established. What do you think he's going to do? Add 4,000. OK, let's have a look. Well, that's not good enough for one of our competition prizes. And so I'm going to place... Are you still confident? <laughs> Anyone? Yeah, let's see what he does. And so I'm going to place £5,000 in front of that. <laughs> and I'm going to say today's competition prize is £5,400. There are no rules anymore! <laughs> the man is making this shit up as he goes along. And yet... Well... Same as always. No, it's not. The only thing that's the same is that every day is bloody different. <laughs> now, on Thursday, they had two cast metal figures. They sold for £920. What do you think he did with 920 Any guesses? 
3,000 in front. Six. OK, well, let's see what he does. He does this. Not good enough for a competition prize. I'm going to award today £6,000. Yes. yes, not 6920 You have to put 6000 in front of it, and you've just revealed yourself to be a person who watches way too much daytime telly. <laughs> Don't be proud of that. You've just shamed yourself on national television by knowing that kind of shit. And we all heard him. Same as always. <laughs> Finally, to round out the week, ladies and gentlemen, it was this, a gold watch chain, which went for £800. And what do you think the prize money was? I'm going to award £10,000. <laughs> Ten grand! The man's making it up! This is what happened across the week. On Sunday, they raised 2,600 at auction, and you get a prize of 2,600, exactly as advertised. Well, same as always. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Monday and Tuesday? Monday is so bad you can't even see it on the grass properly. 65 quid. He just makes up a number, 4,000, and shoves it in front of them both. On the Wednesday, it's 400 pounds, lower than the Tuesday, more than the Monday, but this time he adds 5,000 to it. By Thursday, he is completely ignoring the blue bar. That is no longer relevant. He's thrown it away. He's just throwing six grand at the problem. And on the Friday, he ignores the blue bar again and throws 10 grand at it. The man is a loser. If you ignore the blue bars, which is, after all, what David Dickinson is doing, you can see there is a very dangerous rising trend here, isn't there? If he keeps going, it'll be a disaster. If you scale that back and then extrapolate forwards, by the end of week two, he's going to be giving away 32 grand. If he goes for three weeks, he's going to be giving away 150 grand. If he keeps going for a month, he's going to be giving away a million pounds. This man must be stopped, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to bankrupt ITV. And bear in mind, you can win these kind of sums of money for knowing stuff like this. According to the popular expression, the proof of the pudding is in the 